here we are um, introduced to an educational system that educates us in the nature of our own intelligence. And as soon as we're introduced to the nature of our own intelligence, which is that it's inseparable from everything that streams through it moment to moment, just from that initial introduction and hearing those words and being given the instruction to just relax in the flow of whatever is going on for you moment to moment, or just to rest completely mind and body as whatever streams continues to stream. Just that incredible and pivotal in instruction allows us access to our comprehensive intelligence. And before we have access to that intelligence, we don't have access to that intelligence. It's very simple. And so when we think about the life that we live prior to being introduced in this way or to have the incredible great good fortune of a support structure that will allow us to be continuously supported in this, in, in this recognition, which is what we offer here, the four mainstays. Before we have this great good fortune, we don't know any different. We just don't know any different. We've put ourselves in a in a, uh, an environment, a cosmology that supports subjects and objects. And by supporting subjects and objects, it supports differentiation or separateness. And it also is supported by an intelligence that reifies everything, that gives everything independent agency. And so that's what we know. Many of us just adopt that belief system. And we adopt that way of living life. And we see that that lifestyle is role modeled to us by many people around us. And then all of a sudden, we're introduced to something different. Wow, we have an access to this comprehensive order of intelligence. And boom, everything that seems so stuck and so fixed and so material, wow, now, now we have a way of recognizing its true reality. It's true nature. And its true nature is that it's free-flowing. It's never stuck anywhere. The stuckness and the fixedness comes from our elaborating everything, our analyzing everything, our giving stories to this description and that description and that description as being something material. And all, all of you can nod your head and sit in agreement because it, it's obvious. Once we have the experience of a short moment, and we have the experience of touching into that intelligence, we never forget it. And it's very difficult to go back to our old way of thinking or relating. Very difficult. We, we, may, we may get lost there for a moment or two, but we're never lost there the way we, were used, the way we used to be lost there. So you see, that's incredible. That's immediate benefit right there. And so now we have a choice. In every moment, we have a choice of how we want to live our life. Do we want to live a life that supports access to this comprehensive order of intelligence or not? Now here, the choice becomes very simple. Because every time we touch into a short moment, we gain greater and greater direct experience about the power of that intelligence. And we realize that that intelligence is our intelligence. Nature's intelligence, this vast, wide open intelligence, is non different from our own intelligence. And so now we get to train that up, and we get to train up the empowerment of the life lived that's supported by this comprehensive intelligence. And so what happens? We see organic shifts in the way we use our mind, and we see an organic shift in the way we speak, and we see an organic shift in the way we use our body, and the qualities and activities that emanate from this recognition. It's organic. We don't really do anything other than commit to our commitment to, to rely on the Four Mainstays. So you see, for me, this was all very powerful. It, it was authentic. 
You know, there wasn't any contrivance anymore. There was just a, an ability to tap into the power of a free-flowing intelligence, the power of the free-flowing responsiveness of our own intelligence. And so many things shift. Like we start to see that we want everybody to know about this. People who don't know about it, oh, we are biting at the bit, so to speak. <laughs> and we want them to know so badly. But you know the best way for people to know? is by your own experience, your own role modeling, your own skillfulness pouring forth. So you see in the beginning we may want to pull out all the banners and we may want to stand on our soapbox, and many of us do, I know I did. But then I, I quickly realized that maybe that wasn't the best thing to do. <laughs> maybe it's better I should just show up the way I am. And if somebody asks me, about my experience or sees a change in me, then, then they are inviting me to share my direct experience and there's already an openness to hear what we have to say. So you see, organic shifts, that's, that's so key. And the comprehensive order of intelligence, to get to know that in, in a very intimate way, well then we really see that you know, we do hold this intelligence in a usable way. What other intelligence is there? You know, what other intelligence is there? And so we hold it in a usable way, but we have to have access to it in order for it to become part of how we speak and think and use our body and the qualities and activities. So the, that's why the mainstays are so crucial. Continual access to this comprehensive order of intelligence until it becomes a permanent experience for us 24-7. And so to have somebody like a trainer as an ultimate friend to rely on is, is a, an incredible gift. And, and we have that trainer available to us 24-7. Amazing. And the, the training material, anytime we, we want to listen to an audio or watch a video or, or download a book or have, you know, enter into a formal training where we have the, then the training material, you know, there for us to read or write. Also very powerful. The power of the, of the material is that it evokes greater and greater assurance for us about the power of our own intelligence. And then the community is so vital because where once we were aligned with people who role modeled disempowered ways of living life because they were only knowledgeable about a limited portion of this great comprehensive intelligence. Now we get to align ourselves with people who are knowledgeable about this intelligence and living a life of empowerment by their own knowledge. So you see the community is very powerful because they give us more and more support and more and more assurance of just the everydayness of living life this way. The empowerment of this knowledge, it's, it's crucial, it's so important. And then we just remember whenever we remember, oh, short moments many times, relaxing in the flow. What happens when I relax in the flow? The flow flows on by, the data flow on by, just by relaxing. I mean, anybody can do that, anybody can do that. And so we put ourselves in a situation where we have the direct experience over and over and over again of the power of this intelligence outshining all of these old ideas that we had, all of the, the, the misperceptions of data being fixed or material. In a short moment, there's the outshining of that. Just like the sun upon daybreak outshines the planets and stars at night. The planets and stars are there all the time, but they're just not noticed as much. They're outshone by the light of the sun. So open intelligence outshines these descriptions. And, and what it does, is it opens the description up to its ultimate definition or description. That's the oneness. So where we once thought there was two, we, we were educated to recognize that there isn't two, and then we get to see, wow, what does that look like in our everyday life? 
And so for each one of us, circumstantially, it may look different, but the universality of that powerful intelligence is, is connecting all of us. <laughs>